Hello everyone, my name is Devinder Kaur and today we are going to discuss about the first lesson of our grammar which will help us improve in our IELTS writing and speaking. Okay, so our first topic today is tenses. Today we are going to discuss about the tenses in which we will talk about the present, past and future tense. Okay. I know it's quite uh, complicated for you, you have learnt it from such a long time and you have been trying to crack the IELTS, not only the IELTS but also you are trying to understand the tenses, what these tenses are, what is their meaning. But today we will discuss about it in a simpler form so that you can understand it easily. Okay. So let us start with the first form, uh, we, well the tenses are uh, dependent upon the time. Okay, so first of all, we'll, we will discuss about the present, then the past, and then the future. Okay, so let us start with the present tense, and in the present tense, we have four forms, which includes simple present, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous, right? So let us first discuss about the present simple tense. In the simple tense, especially in the present tense, uh, the action or the task is getting repeated again and again or there is a regularity in the task or action. At that time, dear students, we use the present simple tense. Now, why do we use the present tense? Because the task shows us that or the sentence shows us, shows us that it is being done in the present form. And how do we will get to know that the tense is in the present or the sentence is in the present form? We will get to know about it from the form of verb being used. Okay, verbs are uh, in the three forms. Uh, the first form, the second, the third that we have been learning from the basic English level. Okay, so the first form of verb is considered as the present form of verb. For example, we are taking the example of go. Go is the present form of verb. When we talk about went, went is the past form of verb which is the second one. And third one is gone. Gone is the, uh, the participle form of verb which we use in both. The present, the end in the past. Okay, it is in between the past and present. And the third form is called the participle form. Okay, so we get to know about this sentence that it is in present or in past in the simple form because we, in the simple form we are not going to use any is, am, are, has, have, had or was, were. Just with the help of form of verb we will get to know about the type of or the time and the type of sentence. Okay, so let us take the example of simple present tense which includes um, the sun rises in the east. The sun is the subject. The rule of the simple present tense is a subject plus first form or present form of verb plus the object, right? The sun rises in the east. The sun, here is the subject, rises is the present form, rise actually is the present form of verb and the object here is in the east. Well, in the tenses, it is necessary to mention the object so that the sub, uh, sentence can be completed and we get to know about the type of tense and the type uh, or in which uh, time it is being happened. Okay, if it is in, in the past or present or future. So, it is necessary to complete the sentences with the object and the subject. Okay. The sentence is incomplete without subject and object. Remember this thing. Now, you can take as much examples of it in the uh, present simple tense. There are plethora of examples related to it. You may mention the example for present simple tense in the comment section. You will be adding the examples in the comment section by watching this video. So, you have some time to mention your comment okay now until that time i will be discussing about the second form of present tense which is present continuous well dear students present continuous tense means that action is in the progressed form in the present time 
okay so in the present time i mean to say in the given moment in the given present moment the action is being done that means it is in the progress which means that we have started something we have started doing something and we have no idea in future when will it complete but currently we are working on that this shows the present continuous for example you are going to school you are watching my video i am preparing my subject content or my lesson plan to teach you i am making this video the whole thing is in the progress right so this progress means it is in the continuous form and i'm doing it in the present moment that means it is a present continuous form so this is what the present continuous tense is i have just mentioned the various examples while uh, teaching you about the uh, present continuous tense right and the examples what you can more at is i am studying english i i here is the subject am is from the formula or from the rule studying in the studying study is the first form of verb or the present form of verb plus ing english is your object right i am studying is incomplete here so i am studying science i am studying english i am studying french or i am learning english language it completes the sentence with the help of the object so it is necessary to add the object as i had mentioned right you can use certain examples that she is playing in the park or she is going to school they are studying together in the classroom these all sentences have all the features of present continuous uh, present continuous tense the first one he she they are subject is am are from the rule learning learn plus ing playing play plus ing studying study plus ing first form of verb plus ing and the object at the end which shows that they are doing something but where and when right so this is how the present continuous form goes and you may also give the example in the comment section i have no objection with that actually i will feel good that yes you are paying attention right now it's time for the third form of verb which is the present perfect now this one is quite complicated how do we use the present perfect since in the first two tenses we had discussed about that uh, for example in the simple one the action is like the universal truth or it is being in the repetition it is happening regularly we have no control over it right in the continuous form the action is uh, happening actually what if the action is completed you for example you have just watched my video complete or uh, you have just prepared your cue card you have just uh, did your homework you have just done your homework what it is your action is being completed or done in the uh, in the present that means you had started it in the past of course you have st uh, started studying english in the past or you have started doing ho your homework in the past but you have completed it just now in the present given moment so what it is it is perfect that means when the action or the task is being completed at the given moment at the given present moment in the given present moment okay so this is the present perfect tense this is how you will understand it it connects the past with the present in which we have we will not take we will not pay much attention in the past but because of the action being started in the past it has been completed in the present we will pay attention we will focus on the present so how we will demonstrate it we will demonstrate it with the help of a rule and the rule is subject plus has or have depending upon the subject 
plus the participle form of verb which we in native language call third form of verb and then comes the object right so how you will make these sentences um, I have completed my homework I is the subject have which has been used depending upon the subject completed is the participle or third form of verb and my homework is my object right what more examples you can use you may use the example of has here like um, she has cooked rice she is the object has depending upon the sorry she is the subject has depending upon the subject cooked is the participle form of cook and rice is her object right they have uh, reached the school okay so this is how you will uh, express your completed action in the present with the help of present perfect tense okay you can also use uh, she had gone to school that means she has left her house she has gone to school okay so that means uh, she is not at home right now this is how you will demonstrate her action through the past, uh, sorry present perfect tense now remains the last one which is the present perfect continuous well dear students in the present perfect continuous uh, from its name it is clear that it is a combination of present continuous and the present perfect right so when the action had started in the past and has been completed in the present and when we will express these two things in a sentence we will call it as present perfect continuous tense okay so in this form we will use a rule in which we will use subject has or have been has or have depending upon the subject and there will be a been with has or have plus the first form or the present form of verb with the ing and the object so how will you uh, illustrate it how will you give the examples of it she has been doing her homework she is the subject here has been from the formula do is the first form of verb with the ing doing her homework is the object they have been playing in the park that means they have started playing and also have been completed it in the park okay so this is how you will show the present perfect continuous tense okay i hope the present tense is clear to you if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment section now let us move on to the past one the past one is quite similar to the present one you well we just need to change the form of verb and the is am are with the was were has have with the had everything is same okay so let us move on to the past form in the past form again we will have four forms of past for a uh, past tense which includes past simple past continuous past uh, perfect and past perfect continuous tense right in the past simple that means the action has happened in the past we have no idea when and where when it started when it ended but it has happened in the past right so in this type of verb we will use the rule subject plus second or past form of verb plus object that means we have go went gone we will use went here break broke broken we will use broke here okay and uh, if there are eat ate eaten we will use ate here which is the second form or the past form of the verb okay so this is how you will solve or you will make sentences in the past simple form okay now let us take the examples like i went to the school the subject is i 
went is the past form of verb second form of verb to the school is my object okay she broke the glass broke past form now from this second form of verb you are clear that it is in the past because uh, the sun rises in the east in that the sun rises in the east the rise is the first form of verb which means it is in present now i broke the glass or she broke the glass broke is the second form that means she has done this thing in the past okay this is how you will clarify and differentiate between the present simple and past simple sentences all right now let, uh, next let's move on to the past continuous now since the continuous in the tense form means progressive that means something has been progressed in the past right so how you will show it you will show it as subject with the was or were depending upon the subject with the first form of verb and ing and the object that means i was going to school when you are expressing a story when you are writing a story and when you are reading a story you you must have uh, read these things right in which they show that something had progressed something had been continuous in the past right the action has been progressed in the past so this is how you will show that something uh, how something started or was in uh, action in the past right i was going to the school they were playing in the park they is the subject were play first form of verb and ing in the park is the object right she is sorry she was doing her homework uh, now listen if i use she is doing her homework that means she at present is doing her homework now if i use she was doing her homework she had done this homework she was doing this work in the past so this is how you can differentiate between the present and the past third form of verb is the past perfect which means that the action or task is completed in the past not present in the given moment in the past that means yesterday in the childhood two days ago two hours ago two minutes ago too this can also two minutes were in the past two minutes ago in the past right so how you will different uh, or how you will demonstrate it we will show it with the help of a rule subject plus had with the participle form of verb and the object now the only difference between the present perfect and past perfect here is the has have been replaced by the had everything is same subject participle form of verb and object only has have been replaced with the had she has completed her homework you can say she had completed her homework they have played in the park they had played in the park okay i had gone to the school i had gone to the school now i is the subject here had gone is the participle form to the school if i want to show it in the present i have gone to the school that means at present i am in the school or i was in the school okay but in the past form when i have replaced have with the had it shows that i had gone to the school maybe yesterday maybe 2 hours ago maybe 2 months ago or maybe years ago you can also mention the time here i had uh, i had gone to the school yesterday okay it depends on you what kind of sentence you are preparing with the help of this rule remember the rules and why they have been implemented there is always a reason of implementing a rule always remember this right now comes the fourth form of past tense which is the perfect continuous now dear students in the perfect continuous it shows that 
the action had progressed in the past it had also been completed in the past and now we have to show it now then again you will just have to replace has have with the had in the rule and everything is same which means that subject plus had been first form of verb with the ing and the object they had been playing in the park she had been completing her homework i had been going to school everything demonstrates the rule subject plus had been plus first form of verb with ing and the object so i hope until now you have understood the present and past tense but for the ielts examination i believe only two forms of future tense are necessary what is future tense in which we will discuss about the happenings or the actions we will do in the future right so let us move on to the future tense okay so in the future tense we will have two forms of verb simple future and simple continuous okay so for that you can take uh, first of all let us talk about the simple future tense in the simple one uh, we will use the simple future tense when the action will be done in future when we will start it when we will complete it we have no idea okay when we will progress it we have no idea but it will be done in the future okay so for that we will use subject plus will or shall plus first form of verb plus object i will complete my homework i is subject will first form of verb complete my homework i will eat my dinner india will soon emerge as super power this one is also in this simple future tense pay attention on it you will do it yourself then is the future continuous that means you will start this thing you will start doing or we, you will progress a certain task or action in the future in this you will use subject will shall b first form of verb with ing and the object that means we will take the examples here i will be doing my homework tomorrow i will be doing my homework tomorrow my homework tomorrow is the object here india will be emerging as a super power india will soon emerge as super power is a simple india will be emerging as super power in future or soon is in the continuous form that means this will progress in the future right so this is how you will demonstrate the future and you can write as many examples as much come in your mind in the comment section okay i am waiting for your comments and also waiting to uh, for the feedback to let me know how was my first class related to the grammar in which i started with the most basic topic which is the tenses also let me know if i had made any faults or if this video was awful it was of not good quality <laughs> okay please let me know about it and if you found it useful then do not be ashamed of sharing it okay share it with your friends with your siblings or with your parents because english is a language and i think it's a good language to learn right share it with your friends ielts mates with your classmates siblings parents or anyone you know you would think that this video would be useful okay thank you for watching bye bye